Heather to come and join me up here. Heather, wherever you are. And uh, we're going to hear a little bit of Heather's story. You know, I'm so appreciative of Heather, Heather and her husband Nick and their kids. They're so supportive of everything. And uh, Heather is our church secretary in the office. And when you call in during the week, you get Heather's kind voice. And uh, I'm not sure what we'd do without Heather. I guess we'd train someone else, wouldn't we? <laughs> but she seems to know where everything is and what we need to do and how to find things, and she's so resourceful. But tell me, Heather, how did you start coming here? How long have you been coming here, first of all? Um, we've been here for nine years, years this month. Nine years. What drew you here in the first place? Uh, the Easter extravaganza. The Easter extravaganza. And for all of you who work in Easter extravaganza, there's proof that it pays. Uh, but why'd you come back? A lot of people come to the party and don't come back. Why did you come back? Uh, my husband Nick and I wanted something better for our kids than what we had growing up. And what, what were you thinking? Well, we weren't real sure. Both of us had some bad experiences in church um, growing up as a kid, but we had a pretty positive experience here at the Easter extravaganza. Things seemed different here than any of the church experiences that we had had, and so we thought we'd give it a shot. All right, so you came back the very next day for Easter, and then you came back the next Sunday, and something happened on the third Sunday you were here. Um, yep, I was sitting in the old sanctuary, and I realized for the first time that my Heavenly Father saw me. He really saw me. He saw me, my imperfections. He saw me for exactly who I was and all my brokenness. He knew me, and he loved me anyways. And I accepted Christ right in the service. Right in the service. And you know, that, that must have been a great time. It was. And that changed your life forever. It did. Now, do you remember what the sermon was about? Kind of? <laughs> Little bits and pieces. Um, I remember um, talking about a little about forgiveness. I remember talking about uh, um, the, the way that the Heavenly Father sees us. I, I remember talking about, um, I remember you saying something about the, that you could still have a relationship with those that you loved, but that didn't mean that you had to continue to go back and be basically a punching bag over and over again. And so you came in my office, and we were talking about this service. I was talking about, I was saying I wasn't, couldn't figure out exactly. The sermon wasn't coming together. And Heather started to share that she uh, came to Christ almost nine years ago. And so I said, let's look up that sermon. And I found it, and uh, that's the sermon I'm going to share with you today as a result of, I forgot it was in the file. But uh, it, it's a good sermon, I think. <laughs> what does this teach you about forgiveness? Um, well, it taught me that forgiveness isn't about, wasn't about letting the other person off the hook. It was about freeing myself. It was about giving myself the freedom to have a real relationship with Jesus Christ and about just allowing myself to be truly free. And, and this person, did the, did the situation really change a lot? Uh, no, it didn't. Things aren't, aren't really any different, but... I'm free, and I have a relationship with my Heavenly Father, and I know that I'm loved unconditionally. And so God's blessed you. And, and, and would you want to go back and change the past? Well, I, w I wish, like anybody that's been through horrible things, that I didn't have to experience those things, but I absolutely am grateful that God has made me the person that I am in spite of my circumstances, and I absolutely would not change the way that God has used my past for his glory. In other words, God took some nasty things, and he used them to make you more like him. Absolutely, and he's used me for his hands and feet to minister to other people because of those circumstances, and, and that, I wouldn't change that. And Nick accepted Christ soon after you did? Yes, he did. And how has that changed how you're raising your family? Uh, it's completely different. Um, we've ended the cycle of addiction and abuse in our families, and our family is just, I mean, it's just completely different. Trans transformed. Yeah, it's, we're just, Christ has redeemed our lives, transformed us, and 
I'm not, we're not perfect by any means. We're still a work in progress, but that the day sitting in that service nine years ago, I, I knew that God promised to turn these ashes into beauty and he was going to rebuild, rebuild my life, and he absolutely has. Let's tell Heather that we're really supporting her and Nick on this journey. Thank you, Heather. Thank you, Sarah.